What is up, YouTube? XG Chronic back at it again once again with yet another amazing video. And in today's video, I bring you episode one of Rise to the Top 600. Very odd name, yes, I know, but it's all for good reason. If you do not know, Kaiba Corporation Cup or KC Cup is currently live right now and is playable. It has two stages for a start, and then we'll go into qualifiers. To get into qualifiers, you have to be at least rank 1 to 600, which I will try to accomplish within these few days. I may have a winning streak of losses, but hopefully I will get lucky in this one with my new deck. If you guys are wondering what deck I'm running, don't worry, I am currently going to it right now. I tried using Cyber Angels, tried using Gladiator Beasts, tried using Destiny Heroes. No matter what, it does not work. I even tried using Dark World, but that still did not work in my favor. It's just that the opponents, they really use very, very bad tactics, as in tactics that should not be able to be used, or at least some of those cards should be limited. Which, if you did not know, I have a video about limited cards coming out sooner or later. So if you're up for a top 10, make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscription button, notification bell. Put hashtag subgang in the comment section below so I know to shout you out if you want me to. You don't have to, it's not mandatory, it's up to you guys. But apart from that, go ahead and check out some of my other videos if you do get a chance because this is not the only type of content I put on my channel. I vary in many different types of videos and you might just find one that you like. If you're a guy for deck learning, like um, learning what different types of decks to run, what you can play in those decks, or just off meta decks in general that your opponent really don't see coming, go ahead and check out my channel. It's has some very decent videos on it. Apart from that, I'm running a standard fusion deck. If you've not seen the fusion cards I'm using, I'm using Slash Dragon and Neos Knight. Two copies of each, and for good reason, being that I can attack twice with this monster. I don't do any damage, but it does have a significant amount of attack that it can also increase. Same goes for Red Eyes, but he also can deal damage, gain 200 attack for each monster equipped to it, and it can be a quick spell, so it's almost like Xyz Monster, which in my opinion is pretty cool. Now, the fusion supports I'm going to be running in this deck are King of the Swamp, Blazeman, Supply, Rottweiler, Branch, and Fusion Recovery. Branch being a card where I can actually summon a monster back to the field if my fusion monster does get destroyed. I don't see myself using it too much, but hopefully it comes in handy, and it will not be a hinder to my deck. Apart from that, I'm running two Palmerizations, two Golden Ladybugs, two, um, three Queen's Knights for Fusion Material, and two King's Knights for Fusion Material. That is my deck, apart from two Neos and two regular Red Eyes for my Fusion main monsters. Apart from that, that's the entire deck, apart from also Solemn Wishes to give me an extra 500. So that's 1,500 possible life points per turn. That should keep me alive. I'm also running Master Fusion, which if you don't know what that does, with details right here, every time you, your life points decrease by 1,800, instead of drawing a normal draw, you get Palmerization added to your hand from outside of your deck. So you do not actually have to run Palmerization in this deck. If you do not want to, it's just that you're going to actually have to take damage. That's what I'm hoping not to happen, though. This is my very last resort, and I might just do it as a way to get polymerization in my hand faster. I never know, but I will go ahead and go into my first recorded duel and see what happens. Match successful. Let's see who I get put up against. The most hindersome duel I've had so far was against a Weevil who ran a nothing but effect damage deck using Lava Golem, Parasite, Infection. It was a lot, and it was very annoying. I cannot lie about that. And even Golden Lava cannot save me. Apart from that, I am going to be going against Seto Kaiba, and he will win and level up if he does win. He will level up if he does win. He uses peak performance, so I know he's running a Dragonic Force deck. So I will possibly fusion summon on my first turn. Oh, yes, I can fusion summon on my first turn. Don't know if I will, though. 
I will go ahead and do this. Add a polymerization to my hand. And this actually works out in my favor just in case he has Man Eater Bug on the field. I will activate polymerization. Summoning my Red Eye Slash Dragon. Using Blaze Man. And also, I will activate Fusion Recovery to add Polymerization and Blaze Man to my hand. In doing so, I will go ahead and Fusion Summon my other Red Eye Slash Dragon. And that should be a pretty good way to win this duel. Yeah, this is going to be very easy. With supply in my hand, I can refund my cards back into my deck and our hand, so I should be good either way this goes. Now if I attack and use my effect, I will equip a monster to this card, which will be Blazeman. Okay, that's going to be weird. I don't think it will equip the both of them, huh? Yeah, I thought. didn't think so. Sorry, but you have already lost no matter if you use that card. You are finished, my dude. This has been a very easy first match. Hopefully, I can get another one like this. Now you can activate that monster's effect as much as you want. I still have a lot of attack and way more than you have. And will have. Unless you have somehow gotten blue eyes in your hand in which good luck because i highly doubt you will so are you going to end your turn or surrender said okaiba it's up to you all up to you he's not running a dual mat so i expect him to be a newer player i guess I did unlock the um, Kaiba Cup dual mat for this year. I'll be running that in my next video. Because I still didn't change my dual mats from my last few videos. And I was supposed to a long time ago. Which one will we use? That's the true question here. Ha ha ha. I activated chain effect. I'll send it to a graveyard and keep my card on my field. So, you know, it'll be all good. Yeah, that's that's um problem for you, huh, buddy? I wish it didn't zoom in like this. He does set a monster face down. Yeah, he lost this duel really badly. This deck is actually turned out to be really good. Oh, that increase hurts me oh so much. Just in case, I have three chances to attack and three chances to do damage. And a very usable effect. I did not know it could do that. I am happy now. I don't know why I keep activating both of their effects, even though only one affected by it. I might just go for a third Red Ice. I might just make a Red Ice slash Dragon deck. Oh, banishing my Red Eyes. That doesn't really do much. But thank you for the free attack and the free win. It's almost like I'm running Xyz Monster. This is amazing. And apparently I made every right move in a book. I would actually say that one as a replay. That's going to be a funny one to send to my friends. Apart from that, that is my first win, official win, that I've recorded. And I will go into my second one. As I do with majority of my videos where I do live duels, I will do one to two live duels, a third one if the first two turn out to be very short. This one was pretty interesting, so if the other one takes a pretty long time, I'll go ahead and cut the video there and you guys will see my next episode tomorrow, which is going to be episode two. Being that's a Saturday, no, being that's a Friday, expect that video to come out very, about maybe really early compared to this one.
I have a lot of time on my hands. Let's see what opponent I have now. I'll be going against a Yugi Moto, which I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be running Grandpa's cards. If you don't know, that is Exodia. So he adds Exodia to his deck, which is five extra cards. Pretty sure he's probably going to be using that. Oh, he's using Restart. This will be interesting. The good thing is, I do not go first. I hate going first in this game. Ooh, he's using a Fire King deck, so definitely he's running Nephantis in there. At least one to two of them. Possibly three. Are you going to send Nephantis to the graveyard? A monster in your hand. What card are you going to be sending to the graveyard, my friend? Yep, I knew it was Nephantis, and you have lost. I don't think I'm going to fusion summon this turn. I'm going to fusion summon next turn to bait you out. Actually, then again, I might actually have to fusion summon. But I will have branch right here. Just in case. So I can special summon my Neos back to my hand. Back to the field. I activate polarization. Use Neos. And Queen's Knight. And now I have a very strong monster on field, and you cannot stop me. Okay, you can somehow stop me. Hmm, I do not like this. Well, with that being phased down, I will go ahead and in my turn. Especially since I can still summon Neo, so I still have a very good chance. Oh wait, he destroys all spells and traps, I forgot about that. Ooh, that is... Um... Um... What is going on? I am so confused, what is going on? There's so much that happened. What have I been missing out on? Oh, please don't send my Rottweiler to a graveyard if that is some kind of effect to do that. Please don't. Okay. Well, I get my Neos back, so that's good. You can go ahead and attack me. I'm fully okay with it. Yeah, summon back your monster, destroy your own spell and traps. Man, you really do not know how to run this deck, do you? I feel bad for him for this. That is a lot of attack, though, so hopefully I do not... Yeah, that would end me. This is not going to be a fun one. But yes, he has one with this random deck that he's used. I don't think he ran a deck right because he did destroy this monster not once but twice. And if I had the monsters in my hand for attack, I would have won. That's not the instinct to be a champ. That's instincts of pure luck because the way he was running a deck was possibly the worst I've ever seen so far. And I've seen a lot of people run... Fire King decks. Well, since that one's pretty fast, I will. I don't know. I mean, how long has this video been going? About 14 minutes? Yeah, it's hitting about the 15 minute mark for my videos that I'm gonna try to kind of stay tuned to for the fact that if the video's too long, apparently you guys wanna click off really quickly. Those are my first two recorded matches. I will be doing two recorded matches every day and or three, depending on how fast the second one ends and or the first one ends. Overall, I really like this. This guy with the Fire King deck is... I don't, I don't know. I really wish I could have seen his deck and seen what he was running because 
that deck was pretty insane on the fact that it was kind of everywhere. Apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new to my channel, like I always say in the beginning of my videos, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell with hashtag subgang in the comment section below if you want me to shout you out in my next video. It's not mandatory, you don't have to do it, but it's just there if you want to. But go ahead and help on my channel and help me get known a little bit more by subscribing, sharing my content. Anything you guys can do to help me out is very helpful, even if it means just putting a like on my video or putting a comment. All of it, I read, and yeah, that's really it. If you guys are current viewers of my video, concurrent viewers, as I meant, I hope you're having a good day, night, or whenever you're watching this video. Afternoon, brunch, lunch. Anyway, it has been Chronic. I am out. Expect part two tomorrow, very early on in the day, or I should say afternoon. It has been Chronic, and I am out.